today we've got a really fun comparison. Five tailor-made irons, all bent to the same loft. We've got Thomas to hit some shots. We've got TrackMan to tell us all the data, and we'll show you guys everything. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and you drop a comment and tell us your feedback on this video. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Uh, today, Thomas, interesting test. Uh, we've come up with five tailor-made irons here uh, from 2022 that were in the fitting bays, but we've got them all at the same loft, which I think has been a common ask in comments, I think, when you know, we test irons at different lofts and then we talk about kind of how that loft can impact things. Well, now we've got them all at the same loft. So tell me what you did to get these five irons at the same loft. Yeah, so we decided to choose 32 degrees aloft mm -hmm. as, our, as our testing for all the clubs. So the uh, Stealth yep. iron, 7 iron is 28, yep. the 8 iron is 32. Mm -hmm. So with it being a cast iron, it is quite hard to bend. Yeah. If I was trying to bend that through 4 degrees, I might snap it. <laughs> um, so that one we chose the 8 iron, everything else is 7 iron. So the other irons, the P790, we have a 2 degree weak uh, iron there. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to tweak that just ever so sli slightly about that. So that's also bent to 32 degrees. Okay. Um, and then we also have the P770. Yep. That's normally 33 degrees. I bend that one degree stronger. And then the P7MC and the P7MB are 34, 35 degrees aloft. Uh, I bend those stronger to 32. Yeah. Okay. So they're so all at 32 degrees yep. of loft. Perfect. And uh, one thing too, so they're all at um, 32. We all have kind of this looks like stock stiff shafts, right? It's not going to be the exact same, uh, just do the nature of the bonnet hosels and the different items. Yep. But we've got them as close as we can get them. And then the other thing too that we need to just get your feedback on is the difference in the club heads and how they're going to perform on TrackMan because we have five very different builds here. I mean, the Stealth Iron I can see from here, just looking down, a lot more offset, right? That, right. that hosel kind of juts out there if you will and then uh you have that club head kind of getting all the way smaller to the blade of the p7mb so what do you think we're going to see with with the trackman same loft but very different club heads yeah so there's a couple irons in mind that i'm always thinking about and we've done a lot of comparisons that's the p770 and the p790 mm -hmm. even though the loft's being a little bit i don't know weaker or stronger yeah they've always kind of outperformed other clubs in the same loft mm -hmm. so that's that's one i'm interested to see kind of how close the numbers are compared to say the stealth iron. right um i would expect those three might go a little bit further than yeah. the p7mc and p7mb i could be wrong but yeah. i might expect you know i would say 90 percent of the time loft is going to influence the gapping right and everything like right that. i mean we'll see pretty similar numbers up there there won't be the gap that we might see in different iron comparison but i think to your point about p790 and p770 when we've compared similar irons like for example the p770 being 33 it has routinely been as far or farther than 32 degree irons right Correct. and p790 maybe at 30 is going further than 29 degree irons so uh we'll see if that show is true today in this test when they're all the same loft but uh should be a very interesting one i think a lot of viewers of our channel have been looking for something like this so um you ready to hit some shots thomas let's do it i feel like every shot's gone left interesting yeah, uh, it's pretty much a trend at this point. Interesting. Yeah, didn't swing as hard. But it went the furthest today. Well, those people that say it's just a seven iron or an eight iron, their claims are false because that was 87 mile an hour club speed. Yeah. Carry distance was 10 yards further. Mm hmm. It's crazy. So, Thomas, 
two clubs down and we, we can't let this go, um, what we saw here. So we kind of went extremes, went P7MB, and we went stealth, the first two clubs. And we did see some differences there. Um, again, same loft, but looking at the numbers here, I see ball speed, I see spin, and I see distance being different. And uh, I, we already know about how different they look and feel, but we can certainly see the differences already emerging here just by the, like the build and the technology of the club. Right, and now this is where it comes down to like that, that loft jacking conversation. Yeah. A lot of people will comment and say, well, that club's going further just because the loft's stronger. Yeah. Well, these two clubs have the exact same loft on them. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the distances. Mm -hmm. Technology, for sure, is doing its job with the stealth. Yeah. I actually didn't even swing that club as fast, and you'll even notice that my dynamic loft was higher with the stealth. Yeah. So, with those two things out, out of the way, let's take a look at the differences. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got, yeah, because we've got the spin being 400 RPM, you know, lower. And you're actually swinging the stealth a little bit slower. Yep. Um, Barely, right? Uh, but you Barely. have more but ball it was speed. Slower. Yep. But you have more ball speed. Right. And so you're more efficient with the strike. That's helping you gain seven and a half carry yards, eight yards of total distance. You're hitting it 10 feet higher. Landing angle is steeper. Um, so those are things that, you know, I think there's been a, I don't know, a, a narrative thrown around that, you know, these irons, they don't, it's not about, they're not generating more launch, it's not generating more height because of that loft. It's just going to be pure total distance after rollout. No, they are still giving you more launch, more height, more distance as well. It's all being incorporated into these kind of game improvement irons, at least for the stealth. Uh, we're seeing that here because it's it's helping you hit it further, hit it higher. And uh, you can see on the even, if I bring up the map, very clear difference. So, I mean, they're barely even overlapping here. And every single one of these the total distance was further than every total distance of the P7MB. So yeah, pretty clear differences there. Right, and I'm, that's on total distance, maybe move to carry distance. It's gonna be yeah. a little closer, but, but still, it's pretty clear. Even the worst shot I hit with the Stealth carried yeah. just as far as the best shot I hit with the P7MB, mm -hmm. both bent to 32 degrees aloft. Right, so interesting. We've, we had to bring that up right away. We've got three more to test here. That'll be a little bit more competitive, but I'm really curious now about the P790 and P770 because we noticed for sure that P790, very explosive, could keep up if not pass the stealth here in this one. That should be fun to see. Well, let's find out. It just hits the screen so much lower. Yeah. So you're seeing that as dynamic loft of it too? Yeah, lower, right? Wow. Yeah, good ball. All right, well, Thomas, um, interesting results that we've seen initially here. Uh, we talked a little bit about Stealth and P7MB already and how we already saw some differences. Throw in kind of the, the middle of the pack, right? P770, P790, and P7MC. Things kind of fell the way we thought we, they would, uh, but tell me what you see with this data here. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing definitely some ball speed increases on with the technology we saw it with the stealth we saw it with p770 as well mm -hmm. p790 there was a couple of swings i didn't quite have catch perfect there so this ball speed was down a little bit yeah however i do just want to bring up this particular shot here that was 
with the P790. That was my second yeah. best shot of the day. So you can see that ones were a little bit shorter. Yeah. So maybe a little bit of user error there that brought the averages down just a touch. But you can see that general trend is when you go from the least forgiving to the more forgiving irons, yeah. that you're seeing a little bit more ball speed gains with clubs that have the exact same loft on them. Right, right. We did see the more, um, I guess, the, the irons built for distance showcase that they can provide the distance. Correct. Um, and they also seem to have lower spin for the most part, right? The Stealth obviously was down at 45.89, but then for example, P790 is at 48.84. Um, and then we also saw the P7MC, I think that was the highest spin that we saw. We saw that, and you'd notice it right away. It was like it was hitting the screen lower. Yep. But it also delivered more spin, and that dispersion also was very good for that one too. But. Yeah, I said it while I was hitting it. So this looks like it's hitting the screen just a little bit lower. Yeah. Um, you see more spin. I have to jump to it now, though. I have to talk about the dispersion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was pretty yeah. good, right? No, it was. It was awesome. Was, yeah. yeah. It, it suited, suited my eye a little bit better. I think that's a big takeaway here too. Is when you come in for a fitting, just because you fit into a game improvement iron, right. doesn't mean you have to walk out the door with a game improvement iron. No. Or same thing with blade. Just because you fit into a blade doesn't mean you have to walk out the door with a blade. Right. It's got to fit your eye really well. I'm a great player, yeah. but I don't play blades. Yeah. I play cavity bags. Right. Um, and if the player is worried about loft, and you know maybe they think a 32 degree seven iron, for example, is what they need, um, there there are ways to bend irons or order them differently um, to where the loft might not be as strong as it's yeah. stated on the you know standard lofts. Do um, it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Every so, fitting we're talking about, we're looking at the player's dynamic loft, we're talking about the spin, we're trying to, how are we gonna get you just in that better window yeah. with this particular club? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so the thing I wanna note too, uh, talk, we talked about the flight and kind of the trajectory. There were three clubs that went over 100 feet for average peak height. They were the three irons that you think of for distance. Yeah. Stealth, P770, P790. And then the lowest flight was the P7MB and the P7MC. So those ones are flying a little bit lower. So basically, they, they, the other way to put this is that those irons, the golfer has to provide some of the performance and the speed to get the ball into the air. Whereas these other ones, the P770, P790 Stealth, the golf club will kind of help the player get that ball into the air more. Right. And, you know, when you take a look at dynamic loft, and you yeah. know, that's how you present that club at, at, at impact. And... No, I wasn't trying to manipulate anything. Yeah. I mean, everything was bent to 32. I wasn't even looking at these these numbers until we just saw them now. Yeah. And you can see that the dynamic loft was just a touch higher with the Stealth and the P790. Yeah. That was sort of maybe designed to fly a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. right. So the design is there to just get that ball to get, get in the air just a little bit easier for those yeah. golfers playing those clubs. Right. I mean, there's it's a combination of things. Uh, you know, that center of gravity is obviously a lot lower. There's different materials used, thinner club faces, right? Uh, but I think there's there is something to be taken away here though. Uh, you know, we there's this talk about loft jacking, quote unquote, and how you know that's the the movement now of game improvement irons, and it's not really about what the uh, the technology in the iron, the build of the iron, but it's just the loft. We saw today that the build of the iron is certainly doing its fair share of the of the work here in terms of generating distance for golfers that might need it, generating launch and height for golfers that might need it. Uh, and so, really, this is kind of the spectrum there is out there now of, of irons that golfers are getting fit into. You have the kind of the muscle back blade of the P7MB, and then of course, there's other the brands have their kind of version of it, and the same with the Stealth and the Game Improvement Iron. Other brands have their version, but that's kind of the spectrum of irons that are being fit for. And it just depends on what you're looking for in your game. We can certainly fit it for you here at Second Swing, right? Yeah, conclusion is game improvement irons do go a little mm -hmm. further, even if you match up the loft the exact same. We saw yeah. that today, the Stealth 32 degree 8 iron, total distance 195. Yeah. P7 MB 32 degree 7 iron bent to 32, 187.7. Yeah. So you can see total distance, aim and carry distance differences. We picked up some gains right. through the technology that the clubs provide us. Right, for sure. Well, golfers, uh, if you're looking for a new set of irons or just have questions about your current set, um, we encourage you to stop in a second swing, bring your clubs with you, of course, whether you're getting fit or whether you just have some questions and our team will take care of you, answer all those questions for you, get you fit for the right iron set for your game or make the right adjustments to your current set to make sure you're playing better golf. So Thomas, thanks for uh, hitting all the shots today. Uh, really fun one here. I think the viewers will like it.